Hello. The shoulder joint is a common cause of problems presenting to GPs. It's quite a complex joint and it's made up of two main joints. The glenar humeral joint between the head of the humerus and the glenoid which is the lateral aspect of the scapula but also the scapular thoracic joint. This is the joint between the scapula and the thorax itself. One degree of movement in the scapular thoracic joint equates to two degrees of movement in the glenar humeral joint. From abduction, so from the side of the, with the arm at the side to full abduction, a full 180 degrees, 120 degrees of it is in the glenar humeral joint and 60 degrees of it is in the scapular thoracic joint. If the scapula doesn't move, the arm will only move to 120 degrees. There are other joints around the shoulder joint. These include the acromioclavicular joint, the joint between the end of the clavicle and the acromion, and also the joint at the other end, the sternoclavicular joint, the joint between the clavicle and the sternum itself. All of these joints can produce shoulder problems presented with pain in your clinic. The common conditions in the shoulder include arthritis from the glenohumeral joint and the acromioclavicular joint, stiffness in the shoulder, such as a frozen shoulder, adhesive capsulitis, very common in diabetics and they get a very aggressive form of this. Impingement symptoms, where the top of the humeral head catches on the undersurface of the acromion, and also rotator cuff tears more common in older patients when they fall and the supraspinatus tendon, this tendon here that runs from the supraspinatus fossa where my finger is running through gets torn as the humeral head catches and they get weakness in the shoulder. Younger patients can also have dislocations and fractures which are also common in older patients but they usually present to A&E. It's important to work out the history of the patient to make the diagnosis and it's important to ask about their pain, where they feel the pain, is it a lack of movement or power in the shoulder or does their shoulder feel unstable. If you now click on the shoulder examination video with the history and examination you'll be able to make the diagnosis. Thank you.